Okay, so here's my dilemma. The poll says I should do Chucky, but then I got a reply from Caroline. <laughs> so, I guess I'm going to ignore the poll and just go with Kiriko. Hey, Shuichi. Let's go. I'm bold now. This morning I actually had a dream about getting interviewed. Okay, so I rearranged some of my shelf. Pillow over there, Nagi and Kirigiri over here. I've got my webcam set up over here. I'm really nervous, uh, you know, never done this kind of thing before. I'm really excited to go on the Ultra Hope Girls podcast. Uh, yeah, I can't wait. <laughs> I'm just trying to set up the camera so that you can see my beautiful background while also having me in the shot. <laughs> I think I might have to sit up higher. <laughs> what if I just have an interview like this? Hi! <laughs> but I think it looks pretty nice. Thank goodness for webcam quality, you can't really see my terrible acne. Um, you will notice that I'm wearing uh, pants because I want to be comfortable. Yeah, cool. I think I'm ready. I have a, a ton of notes that I wrote down for like topics to discuss. I'm probably gonna write down some more notes just to be prepared. I'm really nervous, <laughs> but I'm looking forward to it. So I was making a tweet about how I'm wearing pants and not a skirt, um, but in the middle of the tweet, this popped up and then I accidentally almost set my name as wearing pants. That would have been hilarious for the interview. <laughs> Hi, I'm wearing pants. <laughs> okay, I think I'm just about ready to start the interview. Um, it is now 9.50 and the interview is starting at 10. I don't know if there's a structure to this interview. Um, I'm really nervous. <laughs> I've already said this many times, but I'm really nervous. I hope that I make for an interesting interview. Um, I think I have a lot of stuff to say. And yeah, oh my god. <laughs> I, I think it's just wild how I'm here now getting ready uh, for an interview. Ah! <laughs> okay, um, wish me luck. I hope I don't make a fool of myself, although, you know, that's psh, unavoidable. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm really nervous. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get started. Uh, bye! <laughs> <laughs> Almost! Oh my gosh! Uh, oh. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> uh, let me join. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Hi Heiko Meidelings, it's me Ki. So while this time lapse plays, let me probably talk about what's going on here. I was invited to be interviewed on the amazing Danganronpa podcast, Ultra Hope Girls. If you're a fan of Danganronpa and are looking for some extremely thoughtful and interesting discussion on the Danganronpa series, then you should definitely check them out. The hosts, Maddie, Marin, and Caroline go through Danganronpa with chapter by chapter discussions and character analysis episodes. They've also interviewed many talented voice actors and actresses of the English Danganronpa voice cast and other members of the Danganronpa fan community, as well as Kodaka, the creator of Danganronpa. As a fan of this podcast, I'm so delighted to now also contribute my own thoughts and experiences with them. So please, do go check out my interview with the Ultra Hope Girls and all the other episodes they've done. I highly recommend it. Thank you guys for all the amazing work that you put into this podcast. Links to their podcast and website will be in the description. That's it. I hope you enjoy these highlights and bloopers from the interview. Okay, oh, now I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hi, I have a really decorated background. <laughs> I love that. Oh my oh, god. That's amazing. And the wig. Carolyn, I mean, this is your favorite character, right? No. Like, Stop <laughs> it. Stop it. Oh my god, no. It's going to haunt uh, me forever. Thank you. you. You're welcome. Welcome to the family. Like, okay. <laughs> that's perfect. You guys always write notes, so I wrote a bunch of notes um, just in case. Oh, I didn't know what oh to my say. Gosh. That's You're awesome. good. I commented on your tweet because I was like, Maddie is Makoto, and I was gonna be Byakuya, and if you like Kyoko, like that, I mean. Oh yeah. 
I, I just, I, and then Marin, there's Yeah, <laughs> and then there's just Tanko, you know, she's <laughs> joined the party. So, number one is, yes. on our podcast, how would you like to be, like, referred to? Right, okay, so I always go by key online. I feel like I'm known as a Kaleida enthusiast, first and foremost. <laughs> So yeah, you let's and Maddie have that in common. <laughs> Sounds Obviously, good. you can see the body pillow in the back. And whatever. I am obsessed with that. <laughs> that I wanted to get a Biakia body pillow, but there is oh none. God. There are no Biakia body pillows. Really? Ever. That's so surprising. I know, right? I can't believe that. <laughs> that needs to happen. Like, well, I am an artist. Maybe I'll make it happen for you. <gasps> oh my God, Keith. Oh. <laughs> we'll be best friends like forever. Uh, anyway. <laughs> All right, so Fuchiki here. So story time. Immediately after this interview, I remembered that Caroline was saying that she really wanted a Togami body pillow, but couldn't find one. So I went searching. I found this artist, Otome Grandma, through their Togami and Fukawa artwork, their tofu art. <laughs> and I thought it was like the perfect match for what Caroline would have wanted. So I ended up messaging Maddie Marin and we also got cord keys on board and we organized a little special commission from Otome Grandma to get Caroline a tofu body pillow. It was an extremely fun thing to organize. It was all done in secret and <laughs> I think Caroline really, really liked it. So I'm just gonna skip forward and show you Caroline's reaction to the body pillow. I think this is something that Marin had said to open on camera. So I'm gonna do it really fast. Oh my gosh, what is this? Oh, it's so soft. What is this? <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> Guys! Look! Oh my god! It's a pillow cover! Of the Akuya. Oh my god. Ah! I love this artist too. I follow her. Or them. I don't actually know their pronouns. But look at that. Oh my god. <laughs> and the back has Toko on it. So I have a, I have Toko and I have Biakuya. Oh my god. Look at that. Stop that. Oh my god. <laughs> Wow. I what? <laughs> wow. What? Okay, I need to like call Marin. Maddie's literally watching me open this right now, but I have to call the ladies and just get the deeds. Oh my god, this is so cool. God. Oh my god. <laughs> That's great. Oh my god. I and it's so soft! Look, it's my man! He's so cool! Oh my god, okay. Well, that took a turn! Um, wow. Thank you! Oh my god, I think that's from Marin. She implied, and I know Key was involved. Silly. Silly, silly. Yeah, right. Usually for audio work. recording, we'll do like, if we have something we want to add or say, like after you finish talking, we'll raise our hand, but- Oh, right. Well, that oh, we could do that. Marin! Oh, wait, I just changed position. <laughs> oh, how did you do <laughs> that? Wow. Marin just- Oh my god. This feels like a class trial. <laughs> it is. We need, we need uh, that like thing in Danganronpa 2 where it's like consent. <laughs> Consent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you know how we do bed, web, head? Yes, oh my yes, god, I have that in my notes. I was like, I hope I get to do a bed, wed, and behead. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do that. Great. <laughs> All right, and then the last thing is so, you know how we have our famous I'm Maddie, I'm Aaron, I'm Aaron. I'm Caroline. Oh, oh yeah, I was. I was practicing. I'm like, I'm Key. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! <laughs> I think you can win you... the award for like most prepared interviewee. Yes. <laughs> I actually have a note in here that I was like, um, talk about Byakya and Gundam because I want to hear the jingle. Yeah! <laughs> That's so funny! 
Key. I'm obsessed with you, just so you know. <laughs> and you're and you're good to say, and we're the Ultra Hope Girls Key. Are you ready? Oh, oh my goodness, okay, sure. I'm gonna do like the, the Disney Channel thing. <laughs> That's been my dream since, like, <laughs> birth, is <laughs> to do That's... the Disney thing. Welcome, yes. welcome. Oh, you're watching the Despair channel. <laughs> <laughs> if I if I end up getting up, because I'm wearing pants, <laughs> I'm not wearing a skirt under here. Oh, wait, before we start, I mean... <laughs> like, like, <laughs> I don't know why I just... Yeah, I like mean, I'm, I'm just wearing, like, <laughs> pants as well. Right, right. I, I was like, I, I'm not. It's hot. Like, no. Yeah, I'm not, like <laughs> royal blue athletic shorts on. There's no cosplay. <laughs> but Marin, you didn't want to jump on your chair and show your crotch. I really considered <laughs> it. I did. <laughs> Maddie, I feel like I'm gonna be mean, mean to you because you're dressed as Makoto, and I. I know. <laughs> just, oh, I can't. Your merch. Oh my gosh, I need more Danganronpa merch. Oh my goodness, I've been collecting for years. I've always loved it. I loved it. I watched it when I was 15, the first one. Oh my and goodness. I loved it, but I was so afraid to like anime because I didn't <laughs> want to be like lame. I don't oh know. Oh my god. And then now I'm just like totally embraced it. Oh yeah. I'm, and we are joined by Key, the Komaeda enthusiast. Uh, here on our podcast, we're really excited to talk to her and get to know her. I'm Maddie. I'm Marin. And I'm Caroline. And I'm Key. <laughs> oh, sorry, let me do that again. I'm so nervous. <laughs> it's okay, it's fine. I'm Key, and this is Ultra Girls. Wait, this is Ultra Girls Hope. <laughs> Ultra Hope Girls. Yeah, I'm sorry. You got it, girl. Uh, <laughs> you got it. I'm Key, and you're listening to Ultra Hope Girls. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Great job, Key. You messed up the name of the podcast. So many times, <laughs> but basically, I fell in love with it. I really liked it. Um, Caroline, I really liked Nike. <laughs> I <laughs> I thought he was yes. a super. I thought he was a super soft, nice boy. Makoto is sweet, and he is a cinnamon roll. Uh, yes. I'm not denying those facts. Okay, uh -huh. those are facts. Does it mean to like? Yeah. Is there a butt? Yeah, I was gonna say, it feels like there's a butt. <laughs> it just doesn't mean I, I, I just don't love it. I don't know. He's, yeah, anyway. I, I clearly remember. Okay, so, you know how the first image you see is Komaida? And he's just like staring at you, being like, hey, can you hear me? <laughs> I yes. remember so clearly. Um, when, as soon as I saw that image, I was like, oh my god, who's this? <laughs> Who's this? Minute oh one. my goodness! <laughs> Love at first sight. <laughs> it, it really yeah. was. I remember coming out of Super Dark World 2 being like, wow, that was really cool. Um, I don't really know if I like Hinata though, so Hajime. Um, and the reason, <laughs> the reason was because I really liked Makoto. I really liked there. Makoto and how he was so nice when I met <laughs> Uh, Hajime, I was like, wow, this guy is kind of stubborn and not as nice to people. <laughs> I was also so focused on Kamaida that I feel like I blocked everyone else out. I just focused whenever he was on screen. I was like, there he is! <laughs> I want to know what he's saying. My first time experiencing Danganronpa, I had no idea what Gundam was about. Um, I just... <laughs> <laughs> because I had never uh, experienced like a Chunibyo character before, so I was like, what is going on? I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> Why is he so weird? But now, after watching the Let's Play, I'm like, I embrace Gundam. Gundam is really cool. Big spoilers! Before I played V3, I was super attached to Kaede. I was like, wow, a girl. <laughs> I can't wait. Oh, she's so pretty. Oh, uh, Shuichi looks cute, I guess. Oh, they I'm gonna ship them immediately. And I hadn't even played the game. Um, so I didn't realize that <laughs> obviously Kaede was the culprit. And I was like, ah! And so after, <laughs> after chapter one, um, I stopped playing V3 for two months because I was so upset. <laughs> I was like, no! My wife! She's gone! And so 
I, I had to mourn. I love Daga Rampa. I really do. And I've met like so many wonderful friends through enjoying Danganronpa. It means so much to me. Like, I don't know. Will I ever uh, grow out of it? I don't think so. <laughs> we'll see. But I don't think so. And we'll probably keep our V3 thoughts like on the DL because we're kind of yes. saving them yes, for yes. like when we get there. No worries. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm, I'm totally fine to just talk about Kamada for two hours. I actually decided that when I started going to conventions, I really wanted to cosplay. My first Danganronpa cosplay was of Chiaki. And I've just got to say, being in cosplay as someone who didn't have a lot of confidence, you get to be a character you love and you don't really have to think about, like, I don't know, yourself? In a way that kind of sounds bad, but I will say it really helped me, like, come out of my shell a bit. Thinking about cosplay, I actually currently own 15 Danganronpa costumes, if that sounds like a lot. Um, I want more. So you are also an artist, um, yes. and we were curious about that. I draw because I love it, but I'm really happy if it's meaningful to other people too. And I'm really happy that it allows me to connect with other people more so than, I don't know, doing good art. <laughs> so if you don't know, um, I work as a storyboard artist for uh, children's animation. That's really fun and creative, and I love it. Um, so shout out to uh, Midurai from DR3. Um, I feel your pain. <laughs> I understand why you have all the dark circles under your eyes. Let me just say this, like Ratatouille, like Remy, anyone can jor. Go at your own pace and, you know, just have fun with it. Like any skill, I think, or creative thing, you know, you just gotta do it. I don't really know what better advice there is like this podcast i gotta say that's really creative and i was like you guys just went for it and now it's like so amazing and i'm like oh. nobody taught you how to do a podcast but it's great um <laughs> thank you so, yeah okay about your art because i want to i want to know do you have any like favorite pieces you've created one artwork that i did um that has this was before I played V3, and I really liked that artwork because I was like, wow, pro tags! And then I played V3, and I was like, oops. <laughs> <laughs> There's this one artwork that I did of Junko and Kirigiri. I have been a part of a couple of Danganronpa zines, so they're like fan, um, contributed, organized art books. I've been in a couple of them. I can probably show some, but... <laughs> yeah! So... This will be for the video people, not the audio people. <laughs> this was a Komaida fan book that was created 2014 and I did an illustration for it. I just want to show off like something I did early on and then something more recent. I look at my old art and I'm just like embarrassed because I don't think it's that good. But like it's it's okay. You know, it, it's fine to be embarrassed about your old art. But I think yes. I think you also have to like respect yourself at that time because you put a lot of effort into what you were making. And sure, it might be embarrassing to you now, but it's kind of refreshing to be like, huh, I can look back at this and think like, I put a lot of effort in it and I was really proud of it. And it made me happy. And I'm really happy to see the improvement since then. So uh, this is the Kamida artwork that I did for that fan book at the time. Wow. 2014. And that is so good. That oh, is thank awesome. You. Yeah, I really like um, collecting these fan books uh, that I'm in and also that I'm not part of because I just like art and these books are great. This one is more recent. So it was a Dungarumpa fashion zine and for that I drew Sayaka in like a nice idol costume. <gasps> I don't know if you can oh. see. Whoa! Oops. So that is I drew amazing. This one, I drew this one last year, and I'm pretty proud of it. Um, you definitely so should yeah. be. <laughs> yeah, wow. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and then this one is the Decade of Despair, which was a fan book organized for the 10th anniversary. I drew Sakura and Aoi for it. Well, Sakura. 
No. Oh, look at those cuties! I love them so much! I oh, look so, so proud of Sakura, and I just want to cry. Oh, <laughs> I love them. You've yeah. like you've captured their like personalities and like their expressions in such a perfect way. Like, oh, oh thank that's you. just so good. As a storyboard artist, that makes me really happy to hear. Now, I don't know if you guys know, but on my YouTube channel, I've been making animatics for Danganronpa. I don't know if you've watched my Tsumugi Shiragane animatic. Please. Working on that really made me appreciate Tsumugi more, and she's actually becoming one of my highest rated characters, surprisingly enough. Um, I also didn't expect that. I am so sorry, but I am gonna need to grab some more water for just a moment. While you're gone, I'll just like show off what I have on my shelf or something. Um, okay, we were goodness. just talking about Sakura just now, so... Um... Oh Look yeah. at that powerful hair. I love oh. the like... Uh, probably one of my favorites, and it's really surprising because I think this was a prize figure. She's one of those ones where she can like stand on her own, and yeah. I think it's gorgeous. I love it. I mean, for Sakura to even get a figure in the first place, I was like, wow, thank you. And then they give her like such an amazing pose. I'm like, yes, yes, she deserves it. Um, can I ask, actually, speaking yes. of Dang and Rampa merch, do you know where like one could acquire those like really you know how that one fashion company came out with those like outfits for byakuya makoto toko and... uh the the like the fancy dress one yes oh my god wait <laughs> i bought the jinko one yes what? oh my god how did you get that actually i'm not even sure if they sell them anymore because okay they were on like pre-orders oh sorry i had to eat for a second i was like starting to feel kind of faint and i was like why do i feel all, like hot and you know like what you should wear you should wear this oh <laughs> my goodness that's, that's so really cute, cute actually <laughs> yeah caroline you want it <laughs> he, if you want to send it to me i would accept it <laughs> Uh, we have a couple questions based on like just your general favorites within the series. So, do you have a favorite game from the four? Oh, okay, favorite game. Um, I think it's a hard decision between Super Dark World 2 and V3. Let's make it biased. I'm gonna say Super Dark World 2 because it has Kamida in it. <laughs> in a similar vein, do you have a favorite case? Well, I mean, are we gonna go for the obvious route? <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> chapter 5 of Super Dark Rampa 2 is incredible. Next question is, what are some of your favorite characters? Uh, well, <laughs> obviously, uh, Nagida Kumaida is probably my favorite character out of anything, uh, really. Kumaida was like the first character I'd ever experienced that was that level of insanely interesting and insane yeah he's obviously my favorite character of the whole franchise yeah um in a like kind of similar vein to that also um what Rampa character do you feel that you're most similar to maybe i have multiple answers i actually did a quiz a personality quiz and i got makoto and i was like you know what? <laughs> <laughs> um, that's fine. Uh, maybe I'm just not that interesting, but <laughs> I think it's more that. Um, <laughs> I think oh, it's. Oh, I'm so no, sorry. No, no. <laughs> his optimism and his personality to when to like, I don't know, be involved with other people and stuff like that, really care for other people. I feel like that's very me. If we're talking about like fandom, my geeky side, I have to say. Tsumugi Shiragane for the second game though. I don't know if I feel like any of the characters, um, but if we're gonna go with like personality, maybe Hajime, just because um, I grew up kind of feeling the same way, like not really knowing uh, my strengths or like feeling that I had to be some sort of way in order to be acceptable. Uh, I'm gonna talk about like private life but uh as a child i did experience bullying and i feel like actually drawing was a way for me to spend my time peacefully <laughs> i guess 
um, where I didn't have to like talk to anybody, but um, I just drew and I really enjoyed it. So maybe it came from a place of like not wanting to feel lonely, but again, like maybe that's just the miracle of art. I love that drawing has now led me to meeting people like you guys. <laughs> so. <laughs> Hey, what a turnover. I don't need to be a Kamakura Izu, I'll just be uh, a Tsumugi. <laughs> yeah. Which uh, in itself is weird because she can be everyone, so I don't know. True. I <laughs> will also true. say, like the three of us uh, in our podcast episodes, I'm sure you've heard, but you know, we roast some characters oh, and we're like, ah, yeah. oh, we don't like them and stuff, <laughs> but. For our listeners um, out there, like we never dislike a character. If you identify that with a character, that doesn't mean we dislike you. Like every mm -hmm. character has great strengths, and I would love to meet anyone from the Dong and Rumpa games. So, so we we love you and we see you, and you know you're you're all That's wonderful. A little heart. <laughs> yeah, little hearts. <laughs> <laughs> I, I added a question, and we we can keep it in or cut it depending okay. on how we're feeling about the vibes. But what are some of your favorite ships? Oh my god. Okay, so... <laughs> so, Naigiri. That's Makoto and Kirigiri. Uh, that is my fave. Uh, no, actually, maybe that's my second fave. But I really adore that ship. Another ship I really, really like, I really, really like, obviously, uh, would be Nagito Kumaira and Hajime Hinata. So, Komahina for everyone in the know. Uh, I uh, adore the ship, um, and I think it started because I really liked Komaida. Key, you did say that you are similar to Hajime, so I'm just wondering <gasps> if a little part of that was shipping yourself with Oh Komaida. my god! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can I say, I saw this TikTok that was like, think of your OTP, then think one of those characters you identify most with, and one of those characters you simp for the most. <laughs> like, <laughs> wow, that's so interesting. Uh, how <laughs> interesting <laughs> for you to say that. Uh, Bring that up. <laughs> wait a second, let me get something. I don't have just one, I have two body pillows <laughs> of. Uh, I, I'll, I always hug this side, so <laughs> maybe there is some truth to that, that uh, I just want to see myself with him. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so impressed with all your merch. Mm -hmm. I gotta get on it. Oh my goodness. I have a funny story about um, collecting merch. Actually, Nagito, Kumaida, figure, figures. Um, <laughs> was the original reason I started commissions online because I wanted funds to be able to purchase this guy. So he started it all. Oh um, my god. Oh, and wow. I have everything him. to blame on him. Everything you see behind me, it's all thanks to this guy oh starting it. I like purchasing official and fan-made goods because as an artist myself, I feel like um, it's only natural that I want to support other artists, so yeah, I have a ton of stuff that is not official merch, which I think is also great if you want to buy Dungarapa merch but can't afford official figure prices. Fan merch does the same thing, you know, and you're supporting an artist and you're both loving Dungarapa together. It's a win-win. <laughs> All right, folks, we are heading into Wed, Bed, and Behead, and we are going to be going through the characters that we are dressed as, uh, specifically Ooh. the Ultra Hope girls here. So we are deciding between Byakuya, Tenko, and our lovely, lovely Makoto. <laughs> lovely, lovely. Mm. And Behead Makoto. Behead Makoto. Well, surprise, I'd Behead Makoto. <laughs> Yeah, I just I, I I was thinking like maybe for key like maybe for this episode like I might change my answer but like <gasps> I just don't know if I could be in that scenario with him. You're right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Too. You had me like, hoping for a second there. <laughs> like, I just I just don't I like I I imagine this is new. <laughs> I can't I can't elaborate. Okay, but like imagining what that would be like is just not no. Um, okay, so now, next. I would bed Byakuya. I would wed Byakuya. What a king. I would wed Byakuya to comedy. 
Uh, <laughs> so, there you go. Surprise, surprise. We all oh. knew, but it's okay. So, bed, wed, behead. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this. I'm very disappointed that we're not putting Kamida in this because. <gasps> oh, wait. Oh no! It would have been too easy. <laughs> it would have been too easy. <laughs> You're right. You've got characters that I care about and uh, I don't care about as much. Haha. <laughs> I think I would bed Tango. Um, again, respecting women. I like how I'm counting these as wins. Like when people are picking Tanko, I'm like, yes. wow. <laughs> like... I will wed Makoto. Uh, he gets a win! He gets a win! He gets a win. And that means I would unfortunately behead Byakya Tagami. And wow. actually, it would be really funny if you put his jingle right after I said that. <laughs> It's yes. going in. <laughs> Consider it done. <laughs> it's the first yeah. time Byaku has been beheaded on our podcast. Oh my right? god, yeah. controversial opinion. I don't think I want him as my partner for life. I don't think he wants me as a partner for life. That's the that's the real thing. And if you had included Nagito, I think he would be um, my wed and my bed and my forever. <laughs> I thought um, you were going to say, and my behead, and like, <laughs> <interesting. laughs> Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> Thank you everyone for tuning into this episode. It is one of our first episodes to have a full visual aspect to it. So if you are currently listening on Spotify, on Apple Podcasts, make sure you go over to our YouTube and check out the video version where you can watch us all in cosplay for the entire interview. It'll, it's, a, it's a good time. We all look pretty good, I think we would say. We'll see you next time. Woo! Bye. Bye. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Don't leave yet. Don't go. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> I feel like I rambled forever about certain things. You can cut a ton from my talking. I actually had some questions because I asked my uh, the people in the server. I was like, so I'm doing the interview, right? Wait. And I wanted to ask if you guys Hold had on. questions for them. For them? Yeah, for like you guys. Us? No, 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 like, they had questions for you guys. <gasps> should we should record this! Yeah, what? can we record this? Yeah, we yeah. should record this, okay, okay. Uh, okay. Recording in progress. <laughs> We're back. Um, <laughs> Part two. <okay. laughs> so, Hi, hi, future editing key here. Just to say that these bonus questions, I believe, are going to be exclusive for the Ultra Hope Girls Patreon supporters. So, if you are interested, definitely go check out the Ultra Hope Girls podcast Patreon. I will leave the links below. Okay, all right, hi. So I just finished recording with the Ultra Hope Girls podcast and that was so fun. I was so nervous. I messed up saying Ultra Hope Girls three times in the intro. Uh, I felt really bad. But yeah, Maddie, Marin, and Caroline made me feel really welcomed and like, I don't know, it was really nice. At the end, we were all just saying thank you, thank you, thank you. And it was really sweet. It was a really fun podcast. I felt like I rambled on way too much. Um, they're gonna have to edit a ton out. <laughs> um, but we, we ended up talking a bunch about like even just merch and other things. And I don't know, I was just, it was such a fun experience. I'm really happy that they reached out to me. Um, I can't believe that I was on a podcast. Um, and it was so fun. I'm sorry, okay, the, like, the camera ran out of battery anyway. Um, yeah, so I'm super pumped for when this will be ready. Oh my gosh, they're, they're so nice. I'm so happy and like now we're best friends. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I can't wait for everyone to like uh, watch or listen to it. Uh, Oh, I, I just, uh, I love Dummy Rapa so much, and I love the Ultra Hoop Girls podcast. Thank you so much, Maddie, Caroline, and Marin. You guys have all my love, and I'm just so thankful to be a part of the podcast now. Uh, I can't wait to see it um, when it's complete. Um, I'll be sure to link it in the description. Yeah. Uh, Thank you so much guys, I really had fun and this was amazing. I've never done something like this before. Uh, so much fun, I really wish I could do it again. <laughs> Invite me back sometime guys. <laughs> Sorry for beheading Byakya, but you know, it had to be done. At least someone has to do it, at least once, you know. 
um, and then uh, Makoto, uh, my boy, uh, but Kalina, my love. <laughs> I, I don't even know what to say. I'm just so thankful. I mentioned in the podcast, but like being a part of the Dangarampa community means so much to me. Um, and I just, I can't believe that I was doing that just now. It's amazing, incredible. Thank you so much. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Bye.